Hey, what is happening, folks? It's Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back another life-changing, a transformation episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we review all things pop culture, give you my first reactions, unboxings, mainly Star Wars, Transformers, anime, McFarlane figures, as well as other things that I feel like doing, so that way I unbox it so you don't have to. Uh, and uh, go to the occasional convention, like we're getting ready to go to TFCon, which is gonna be awesome. Uh, so so if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and get notified when we have all sorts of zany, crazy videos. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming. Look at me. I, I'm looking like uh, goth Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3 right here. I'm going to get my hair cut. Don't worry. But uh, I, I'm trying to fill in for uh, uh, Chemical Romance, you know, you know, or some other uh, emo band. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that today we're going to be reviewing... A transformer but before we get into that when I was a young boy no I'm just kidding uh, before we get into that don't forget our October giveaway and you know we're getting so close to that 750 mark we're currently sitting at 700 subscribers right now so 50 more tell your friends tell your enemies share it out you know uh, put will subscribe for food signs out or something I don't know uh, but you just get those people coming in but yes we're gonna go to a place that's more than meets the eye and we're gonna take a look at something that is either bugging or awesome. So let's take a look at this, uh, this fine looking uh, insect transformer. Let's do it. Here he is, folks. Insecticon bombshell from Transformers Legacy. Yes, bombshell, folks. One of the Insecticons, one of the three. So just let me tell you a little bit about him just from the Transformers wiki. It says, a master of mind controlling cerebro shells, the twisted bombshell, AKA hard shell plays with the minds of others as a child would a new toy, enthusiastically and recklessly. But there is nothing childlike about the gleeful malice he expresses in forcing his victims into more and more humiliating and destructive acts. Bombshell takes such sadistic joy in the destruction of his victims that even the other Decepticons can be put off wondering if he wouldn't be just as pleased to play those same games with them. So this is him. This is the box. I love that they released all of the Insecticons for Legacy Evolution. I've only opened up one other, and that is Kickback. Uh, so we'll take a look at comparisons with him and Kickback uh, as well. But there's the front of the package. Beautiful, beautiful package. There is the side, the back. 13 different steps with this evil fusion uh, right there. And then this side right here with a good, cool picture of Bombshell himself. On the bottom, the obligatory, all the cool stuff. And then on the top, you got the uh, QR code that you can scan for all sorts of neat things. But that is the package. But we're not here to see him in the package because we're here to take him out of the box and play with him a little bit so let's do that bombshell come out of the box now here he is out of the box and on to my table good old bombshell is he a bombshell scale of one to ten is he a bombshell but here he is right here one of the beautiful insecticons just a little fun fact as you know there's a great debate going on because when the insecticons and the decepticons attacked autobot city and then they retreated uh he was one of those that was wounded uh and then later converted by unicron into either a cyclonus or b one of his minions or Mar Armada. So it's a debate between this guy and this guy. So a lot of people believe Cyclonus and there are some out there that believe Bombshell, but I will leave that up to all the people in the Wikipedia verse to debate that. Today, we're just here to play with toys. And so here is Bombshell. I love the purple color and his cool looking face and all that good stuff. So, but what you get with him before we go into looking at him, you get uh, a pew pew gun here. And um, you get these two little blasters here that can fit in two different places. You also get the instructions on how to take him and transform him into the, uh, the insect, the little beetle that he becomes, beetle belly. And then you get Bombshell himself. So the Evo fusion piece is you take this gun right here and you kind of put 
these two black parts right here and you have evo fused it into a bigger gun that's what it's like but these two little black parts right here can fit underneath his arms to be weapons as well so you can depending on how you want to play with him what you want to do you do you on that but let's bring him in close let's take a look at that face such a beautiful face and that body, I love the translucent plastic here and this purple. I love that. I think they picked the right shade of purple on this. I think it looks great. Uh, the molded plastic all around and the little highlights of the yellow looks phenomenal. Uh, I, I love the Insecticons. I never owned any Insecticons, uh, but I loved them. And as you heard me say before about my insect, about animals and transformers i like robot animals i don't like robots that look too animal lifelike so beast wars i mean I, I i dig it i think it's great but i they're not my preference of animals i like the dinobots like grimlock and them from g1 and then the insecticons and how they look more like a robotic animal versus a animal that's a robot down the road but from a rotisserie view you can kind of take a look at him he's got this shielded face right there and you can bring that up however you choose to right there where you can see him but you can take a look at that there with the rotisserie cooking some bugs on the rotisserie there he is on the side i kind of like a little piece of i think that's tape right there let me see if i can pull that off just kind of stuck there we go there we go. Just a little tape. Uh, there he is. Got this little little detail right here. Looks like it's painted on. Maybe it's a sticker. I don't know. The details on the back there with mostly black. No kibble whatsoever to look at here. But you got a lot of holes. There's holes. This side and back to the front. This there. And then the top uh, of him too as well. Uh, so when you take him and you compare him in size and height with the official Jimmy G Mama brand noodle scale we got right now currently we have three right there so let's see we might need two more let's see is he a fiver he's about a fiver yep five ramen noodle packets high uh so that is what he is right there mama brand get it at your local asian grocery mart um but that's how big he is. So from an articulation standpoint, let's bring him in a little closer. Let's bring this up a little bit and let's articulate a little. So let's start with the head. Uh, so you got head movement. You do have it. It's not on a ball joint, but you do have the head swivel. Uh, and then the arm can come out like so. And then you do have more than a 90 degree bend right there. You have the twisty twisty right there. You have twisty twisty right here. Uh, so you can come forward and you can go backwards. But this little this little leg right here kind of impedes it. So you got to move it out of the way to get even further back. And you can kind of you can kind of see you can kind of pull that back even further, so to speak, uh, right there for his arm and so we'll put that back where it needs to go and actually let's lift the arms up so that way we can start looking at the waist the waist no twist no bend uh, so if you want him to bow you have to do it from the legs right there so no twist on the waist and then the legs you do have the Jean-Claude of Darm that you can do uh, right there and you have this twisty right here twisty twisty uh, and then no twisty there uh, leg you don't have you have some tilt right there with the foot but no like side to side ankle tilt uh and then from a bend you have about a 90 degree bend you can come all the way back like so and you can go all the way front like so and that's what you got for the legs as he got his hands hands up hands up be proud show your spirit out loud my name is bombshell and so these little guns right here, they fit within these little pegs right here if you want to uh, have them like so. Uh, or like I said, you could have it uh, pegged into the gun itself and have that going uh, for you as well. So let's move that down so that way we can kind of see kind of like what that looks like. That looks kind of cool, right? And if I want to, I can still give him a gun with those other guns like so. And so he can hold all the guns, all the guns. He has all the guns. Uh, so let's do this. Let's compare him to some other figures that I do have to show you. Let's bring in the group. And here's the party with Bombshell. So his fellow Insecticon kickback. 
that I have already opened up. So really, really cool. Then we have Shrapnel right here, who is the G1 retro movie that I did a review on not too long ago. I'll put a link to that in the bottom. Core Skywarp, Cyclonus or Cyclonus, who knows? Uh, that we have the New Age Mirage. And then we also have Earthrise Optimus, Magic Squares, uh, Light of Victory Optimus. And then we have Nova Prime here, just to kind of give you just a scale standpoint. So if I wanted to scale him from a legacy standpoint, it would be, you know, I'll take all these guys out and... Oh, puppy. And there you got him, scaled from a legacy standpoint. So let's take a look and see how he looks uh, transformed. Actually, before we transform him, there he is with his buddy Kickback. I just wanted to show you. I love how all the purples match. I love the translucent on Kickback and the translucent bodies on both of these guys. But looking very phenomenal. Phenomenal together, brothers, right here, ready to eat Energon. So, Kickback, let me move you to the side and let us transform Bombshell now. And here you have Bombshell. Good old Bombshell in his beetle belly mode. He's a beetle. He's not a dung beetle. He's not a uh, beetle juice. He's just a beetle. A robotic beetle who can control mines. But he looks pretty cool. I mean, very easy. 13 easy steps uh, to put him together. I had to look at the instructions a couple times, but overall, very, very easy to put together. Uh, a lot better of a transformation than his brother Kickback because Kickback was just basically, hey, just pull the legs out and you're good. Uh, but here he is. Uh, so let's take a look at him. There he is from the top. So there is his needle and there's his head. Hello. And then we'll hide the head again. Uh, but I pegged the gun up here on the top. I kind of like that. I love the blue. I love, th again, this. There's his eyes. It's so cool that his eyes were part of his arms. Right there, love this piece. Uh, he he does have a bit of a butt, so he's got some junk in the trunk here. Uh, so yeah, just a big but donk a donk. There's the bottom. Those two little guns kind of fit here to act as his other his hind legs. Uh, and then here is the dead beetle. The dead beetle. <laughs> there, roaches check in, but they don't check out. And then back to the top. There's the butt beetle butt, and then the beetle front right here and so when you look at him from a mama ramen scale we bring in the mama ramen so oh bring in another pack of mama ramen he is approximately one ramen pack long and then when you send him to the side he is uno and then he is dos two ramen packs high but uh let's do some comparisons with some other alt modes uh right now here he is with his brother, Kickback. Kickback all together right here. And like I said, Kickback was just like, hey, why don't you just lay down, let your insect legs come out, and we'll move your hands in, and there you go. That's that's him. That was how easy Kickback is to transform. And then here from the side, you can kind of see the difference in the length. Here, Kickback is a little taller. Bombshell is a little shorter. My dog is running around making clickety-clack noises. Uh, but... I, I like putting these on here and I put the gun right here. I don't think you're supposed to, but I did. I think it's cool. Uh, but that's what they kind of look like together here. And so let's kind of pull this up a little bit and bring in some other vehicles for comparison. So first of all, let's bring in a big old Grimlock right there. Me Grimlock, me king. Let's bring in a smaller Grimlock. This is MHZ's Grimlock. It's a new age knockoff of him. I really dig this one. It's ch much cheaper than New Age's. Not built as quality as New Age, but has the same exact transformation. Uh, if you haven't seen my MHZ versus New Age Grimlock video, I'll post that down below. This is Core Class Bumblebee right there. And then we have good old Blitzwing. So you can kind of see how they all kind of look together in Bombshell. Uh, Bombshell really, really does do a better job with the legacy stuff uh, in his kind of element there so let's do this get out of here grimlock let's bring a uh, bombshell back up close and personal and what we'll do is we'll uh give you some of my final thoughts on the bombshell and welcome back so final thoughts on bombshell let me bring him in i th i this is my dilemma with my robotic animals 
is I don't know whether I want to keep them in alt mode or in robot mode because both of them look great. Uh, but uh, maybe I just switch off and on. Maybe I switch to alt mode. Maybe I switch to robot mode whenever I whenever the fancy and the mood hits me. But uh, because I have some of my dino bots in just alt mode, uh, although I love their robot mode, I love their alt mode too. And I love the Insecticons alt mode too, as well. Uh, like I said, I never had these as a kid. I wish I did. They would, they were great. Uh, they looked awesome. And they're, you know, again, just looks really cool. Now, one thing of note, I said earlier in my video, uh, he didn't have a waist swivel. He does have a waist swivel. It was just really, really tight and I couldn't get him to do that. So you could see probably in one of my poses, I'll have his waist kind of swiveled a little bit that you'll see at the end of the video. Uh, but uh, I really, really dig him. And let's bring in his brother, uh, Kickback. And so Kickback used to stay in robot mode, but I think he may stay in alt mode as well. Uh, and so just keeping my Insecticons as insects. Uh, so um, from a value proposition, I mean, $24.99 for, for these deluxe figures, which I don't think is bad, especially if you want to get them. Uh, I remember when they were 20 bucks. I remember when they were 15 bucks. Um, the uh, pros, I mean, it looks cool. It looks really good. He does have some junk on his trunk right here in insect mode, but in robot mode, I think he looks really, really good. Uh, the Evo Fusion, it's just a gimmick. And so, you know, just, yeah, just take it for what it is. Cons, uh, very simplistic uh, kind of design. Uh, but again, there's not much. I, I think they did a really good job with these Insecticons. I think they did good for what they are. Uh, they're not, again... I like that they look like robotic animals, that they're not animals that turn into robots. Uh, that's, that's my thing. And so some of y'all may be like, it doesn't look beetly enough. That's okay. It looks like a robot beetle. I think that's, that's it. That's the point. And then he'll get crushed and then turn into Cyclonus. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. One of Cyclo uh, maybe one of Cyclonus's armada. Who knows? But it's weird. Everyone's kind of like talking through it. G1 was full of all sorts of continuity errors. So don't even get into that. So on a scale of good, bad, awesome, uh, I think this guy is pretty awesome. Not not totally awesome, but pretty awesome for a bug. Uh, and uh, it's tough to be a bug, you know? Uh, it's a bug's life uh, on that. So quit bugging and, uh, and just, you know, basically get on this bug. I think I like him. Uh, I don't like all bugs. I don't like real bugs, but I like this bug. Uh, and he's a love bug. Uh, so maybe I'll name him Herbie instead of Bombshell. So that's, what, that's what's really great. So that's him. That's Bombshell. That's him for you. If you want to get him, get him. You can pick him up. Target, Walmart, Amazon, uh, $24.99. You might be able to find him on sale. I know Amazon's got their Prime Days coming up really quickly. But uh, yeah, pick him up if you like him. If you don't like him, then maybe don't pick him up. Uh, but until next time, let's review something else that's going to be either good, bad, or awesome. But y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be buggy. Be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.